Hi guys, welcome to my channel which is Mother's Flavor and I am Nikita. So today I am going to be making methi rice or methi palav. You can call it whatever you like. I really like to call it methi rice. So I am calling it methi rice. I really like to make this uh, methi rice. It's like my go-to rice. Basically when I am in no mood to cook, I need to cook something very fast. I do methi rice. It's a very simple, very basic and very very yummy rice. So I would definitely suggest you guys to try it out. If you really like what I'm making today, then do hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. To make uh, methi rice or methi pala, we'll be needing the following ingredients. I have taken two small bay leaves. If you're using big ones, you can just use one. Since I am using small ones, I have taken two. Then two cardamom, four to five cloves, and one inch of uh, cinnamon stick here. I had two half inch ones, so I have taken two. I've taken about one uh, tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, two green chilies which are slit. I have taken salt to taste, and one medium sized onion which I have chopped finely, about one uh, teaspoon of garam masala and uh, one tablespoon of oil I have taken about one cup of rice and I have uh, used I have taken some methi leaves here and uh, these methi leaves I haven't chopped it because we'll be chopping it when our onions and our ginger garlic paste is cooking if we chop it and keep it beforehand the methi will turn bitter so ensure that you chop it while the cooking process is on okay to make methi rice so firstly we'll heat our cooker and once our cooker is heated we'll add in some oil keep your cooker on medium high flame once our oil is heated we'll add in the bay leaf the cinnamon cardamom and our cloves once the masalas release their oil we'll add in our chopped onion we'll add in our chilies now we lower our flame full low and go and chop our fenugreek leaves now so while our onions are cooking I'll just go quickly and chop our fenugreek leaves or methi leaves. Now as you can see, I chopped my fenugreek leaves. I forgot to tell you in the ingredients that I have used about half a bunch of the methi or fenugreek leaves. So now our onions have turned nicely pink in color. So we'll higher our flame now and we'll add in our ginger and garlic. Saute this for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, add the methi leaves or the fenugreek leaves which I have chopped roughly. So I have taken our rice using this cup. So now I'll add two and a half cups using the same uh, bowl. Please use the same uh, bowl using which you have measured your rice to add in the water. One cup, two cups, another half a cup. Now it's time to add the salt. Always ensure when you are adding salt to add it a little slightly more when you are making some pilau or some rice so that you get a very good nice taste of salt but anyway salt is always to your taste we will also add in the garam masala by adding garam masala here we are just enhancing the flavor the taste of the rice a lot trust me guys by just adding one teaspoon of garam masala the flavor of your methi rice is going to change very drastically now we will let the water boil as soon as it gets a single boil we will add in the rice now you can see it slowly started boiling 
You can see it over here. So now I'll add in the rice. Give it a nice stir. And we close our cooker lid. Increase the flame. And we'll cook it on high flame for about 5 whistles and then on low flame for about 3 minutes. Now after 5 whistles we lower down the flame and we let it cook on lower flame for about 3 minutes. Now after 3 minutes we will turn off our heat and we let the cooker cool down and we will also let the rice cook again more in its own steam. So now once our cooker cooled down, after removing the lid you can see, just remove out all the steam from the below, like this. Have a very light hand, don't put in a lot of force when you are taking out the steam because the rice grains might just break. Now you can see the rice grains are really nicely separated very well so if you want at this point you can even add ghee or butter if you want to make it more rich and tasty but I am not adding it and uh, our methi rice or methi palau is ready.